to you guys the chuckle and the rolling feeding call. This week I'm going to bring you guys the hail call or what some people refer to as the highball. So what the highball is or hail call is an attention getter. It's basically making some type of noise to get those birds' attentions that are way out there. Um, the only real places you want to use this hail call is big open waters like big lakes or rivers or even big fields. You don't really want to use this call hunting backwaters or flooded timber or really confined spaces. So what I like to use when I'm using this hail call is the word ain't. And the reason why I'm switching it up from the word quit is because ain't allows me to be more vocal and allows more airflow up through the diaphragm. If you're trying to use the word quit and extend that, you don't really have a lot of airflow opposed to ain't. You can extend that and airflow can go all the way through. What I do with this is I try to make as many sounds as I possibly can. And just like your comeback and greeting call, start up high and taper it all the way down. So it's going to be ain't, 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 ain't. And in the back of the call, it's going to sound something like this. It's Like I said, all this is is an attention getter. Folks, we all know that mallards can't make that high strung note. They can't carry out that many notes while they're calling. So basically, this is just an attention getter. Get these birds that are way out in the big open waters or way out in the fields to get you to basically turn and give you kind of a little bit of a look. So after demonstrating that, this is what your hail call is going to sound like or your high ball and what I do um, regular instead of calling like that when I do that I like to put both hands on it okay so once again it's ain't 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 so here it is it's Notice I started high. And there's no really cadence or notes for this. It doesn't really matter how many notes you can make in this. Go as many as you can and start high and just taper all the way down. So as many notes as you possibly can just to get that duck's attention. Like I said, it's all this is is an attention getter, okay? So make as many notes as you can and get that duck to hear those notes clear out there and she'll hopefully turn and come in. So once again, it's And as that duck turns and hears your vocalization over that call, She's going to turn, and that's when you slow it up, and that's when you hit her with that greeting call, that five to seven note cadence. So here it is again, the hail call or high ball, as some of you guys like to refer to it as. It's... <laughs> As you guys noticed, I started up high and went all the way down, tapered all the way down to my last note. You guys probably heard a little bit of squeals in there, and you don't really want that, but that's okay. It's, it doesn't honestly really matter. Obviously, you want to be really crisp with your calls, but like I said earlier, all this is in is an attention getter to get those ducks to hear something, any type of noise to give them confidence to let them know that that's real spread out there. So, once again, it's... Back of the call, it's and one more time for you folks out there. Here it is. It's
So this week, it's all about the high ball or hail call. Next week, I'm going to bring you guys a little bit different video. We're going to put everything that I've taught you guys on one video. And we're going to start it off with the quack, go to the greeting call, the comeback call, the chuckle, and the hell call. We're going to put that all together. And hopefully you guys learn something out of these videos. Everyone out there, please share. Keep liking my videos. Tell everyone you know. And just please get my name out there, man. Check out my um, page that I made. It's called High Skies Outdoors. I'm out here in Denver, Colorado. Just trying to make a name for myself. Doing exactly what I love. Um, for me, I don't... I, all I want to do is help youngsters grow and get them involved in this sport. And if it's not youngsters, then adults that want to get involved in this sport. It really means a lot to me. And seeing the sign on people's faces when they come out there in the blind and whether we're eating breakfast, uh, talking, just reminiscing about the good old times, that's what it's all about, getting people together in the blind and having a good time. So please keep sharing, liking my video. And next week, we're going to put everything that I taught you guys in one video and see what you guys have learned out there. Um, please leave comments. Let me know if you guys want to learn something else. I'm going to bring uh, to you guys videos on decoy spreads and also dog training videos. I'm going to put up a video tomorrow of my eight week old pup and basically all I'm doing is introducing her to the bumper. Getting her excited and letting her know this is what we want to do and letting her know it's okay to have this bumper and play around and fool with it. So once again, love you guys out there. Have a good night. Bye.